What's going on today, Internet? I got another video for you, and this is about Windows optimization. Things you can do to speed up boot times and keep Windows running as smooth as possible without gobbling up limited resources. Stay tuned, I'll show you what I do. Okay, so after the last video that I did about Windows 10 Creators Update, which you can, there'll be a link down here in the box, you can click on that and watch that video. Um, a lot of people were asking what I do to optimize Windows to keep it from gobbling up resources in the background and things like that while I'm doing Photoshop, video editing, gaming, pretty much anything on Windows that's not just sitting at Windows. So there's a few things that I do and I'm just going to keep this video short and simple. I'm going to dive right in. I'm going to show you the optimizations that really everybody should do to their machine to make things a little bit easier. Now this won't be universal to every user because my applications are going to be different than yours. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what I do on every single machine I work on to make sure that Windows is running with just kind of what it needs for the best user experience, but also to keep everything running smoothly on the back end. So I'm just going to dive in. We're going to show you right now. So we're going to talk about optimization. It's very straightforward. You're going to go right down here to your taskbar, right click on it, hit task manager. Conversely, you can get to it through right clicking on your Windows tile, as well as other useful utilities. Those are right there. Or the good old fashioned control, alt delete and hit task manager from there. And what you're going to do for a basic optimization is go to startup. Now this is basically the new MS config if you're used to running Windows XP, um, Windows 7, Windows Vista. This was this was the command to, to do um, your startup optimization. Biggest thing you want to disable right off the bat is Java updates, QuickTime, things like that. Java really, if you can get away with uninstalling it, by all means uninstall that bad boy. Just be sure to manually update it on the regular. It's my only piece of advice. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of things disabled, and I still have a few things enabled. Of course, the utility engine, that manages my keyboard mouse. Adobe Creative Cloud, that does licensing updates for Adobe Creative Cloud. Sound Blaster control panels for my USB audio interface, which I'm not recording on admittedly right now, but I do use that on occasion, so I just leave that running. Though, I can hear some of you right now, if you were going for a high optimization, you would disable all three. That's very true. But again, this is a balance between performance and usability. And I don't want to have to remember to open applications to get things to work every single time I want to do things. This is pretty much all I leave running. These are the things that I know. I need color calibration, utilities. Um, all the Adobe stuff is for Adobe. Intel is for my motherboard management to make sure everything is within parameter. Everything's good. Um, and then onboard audio. So I, I really don't leave a whole lot running on my system. Now another utility that is very, very useful, because I'm sure most of you are using Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Safari, whatever, is the Great Suspender. Now this is available for pretty much any browser, um, but what it does is it kills all of your crap uh, that's running in the background um, from gobbling up your system resources. Great Suspender will actually kill a lot of that stuff when it's not being used. So that's a very useful tool. And that's available here in the uh, Chrome Web Store. Here's the utility that I made that I, uh, well, not that I made, really anybody can make this. Uh, it's just a very simple batch file. This is the command task kill, the switches for task kill, and then the task that I'm choosing to kill, which is Chrome EXE. So let me go ahead and open up Task Manager again and show you what I'm on about. Look at the, uh, <coughs> change it to name, sort by name. Look at all the instances of Google Chrome that are running. Holy guacamole Batman. Well, check this out. You right click on your uh, batch file that I've made, run as admin, holy crap, all gone. So now that stuff's not going to be committing memory or leaking memory or having anything allocated to those tasks if I don't want them to. Since they are now not here, I don't want them to. So now I've got the best optimization moving forward to go ahead and you know play games and things like that and uh, uh, do what I want to do without having to worry about excess memory being wasted on applications that I don't want running. Last thing. It's a good utility. I don't care. People say it's old school. It is a little old school, but uh, CCleaner. CCleaner is a good utility. Um, don't use the built-in um, tools uh, such as the startup configurator and all that other junk. Don't don't use that. Um, the browser plugin is useful, but honestly, just just ignore pretty much all of that. And the last thing, as far as optimizations go, is oh, I can't type today. Uh, is disk cleanup. And disk cleanup, especially for those of you who watched my other video and did the update for the creator's update, this will allow you to clean up all the old Windows files. So you'll notice what I did there was I clicked uh, 
just go to your task or your start menu, search disk cleanup, select the drive that your operating system's on, which is C, and I went down here to clean up system files. Just hit OK. And now this will show you all of the junk that has been on your system. Now, admittedly, I already did this, so this is not going to have much. But before I did it, I had about five or six gigs of just junk sitting on my SSD. And this made a big difference as far as getting me some space so I could actually, you know, have more free space on my SSDs. Um, specifically on the operating system SSD. And you can run this on any drive, but this is a useful utility. And just go through and select what you want to clear out. And that's pretty much it. So we're going to hop back out and uh, talk about that a little bit. All right, and that's it. That's all I do. It's pretty straightforward. If you guys found this video useful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs down and tell me what you didn't like, and I'll do my best to provide better content. There will be links in the description box down here for all tools used in the video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. As always, like, subscribe, and I appreciate your support and feedback. Have a great night, guys, and I will see you all around. And this was...